What's up, Libras? Libra cross watchers. People want to know how Libra is being allocated to their natal chart and their solar chart. What's up? Oh, I made cuss, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first. Bars. If you want to get in contact with me, the link to my website's in the description box. When there, you can arrange an appointment with me via Google Meet. Pause. And we can pick apart your chart, bars, or we can do a tower reading. It's up to you. There's also memberships on my channel. There's an online school on tier two, mystery school. In case that intrigues you, there's more to come soon on that too. Um, yeah, a few things in the works, but that along with there's merch now, right? There's merch on the same website, same landing page. You can find merch relative to zodiac signs. There's going to be slogan shirts coming through and all types of stuff. Right now, it's only hoodies and t-shirts for Aries. I figured since it's Aries season, set it off like that. However, I got you. Different signs are coming. With that being said, let's get these cards read. Bars. Okay. This card is relative to the situation at hand for the Libra energy. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This card is relative... Oh, jeez. What's, what's this about? This card is relative to how you feel about the situation. Hermit in reverse. Two major arcanas out. And this card is relative to the factor to consider regarding this situation. The Two of Cups. Okay. Let's look at this. Some upheaval or bad luck is coming that way. Which way am I asking? Hmm. So one, I would say it's coming in the way of whatever is expansive in your life right now. Whatever has a long reach, pause. Um, something is going to spin out of your control. And I get that this is out of your control. Um, this is going to be the type of disruption that is going to like force you to change or change something about your life it's like the wheel of fate is 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 changing this i, I get the feeling that you have i don't want to say an ego but it might it might be it might be an ego um, you might even be narcissistic. This is the type of feeling that I'm getting that is like, you frame yourself to be so much of a person that is ideal. And it's like, you conjured this up. You conjured up this image for yourself. And... This thing that I'm talking about has already happened, but I feel like it's actually a process. Like it, it like it goes like that. So like maybe a couple of notches already happened, and it's a process, a progress that has to continue to happen. So it's kind of like you're in the infancy of it, or maybe halfway through it, and you know you still you know you still got a ways to go. The hmm, this is kind of trying. I see because I'm trying to see why the factor to consider here is the two of cups. So, what I'm getting is you either had a partnership or you have a partnership that you either should have considered when or before you got into this situation. So let's say it's a financial thing and you're looking at it like maybe you cooked the books or you held something back from your wife and they are none the wiser of 
the um, hazard that it has played in the financial area of your life now. So now your wife, if she hasn't found out yet, or if your husband hasn't found out yet, they're going to find out. It's like inevitable. You can't keep it from them. That's hovering over your head. Now, if this did get unraveled already and it has been revealed to your significant other, your lover, they have now become cold to you. They have become detached from you. They don't look at you the same. And not for nothing, the way that you see this or the way that you're dealing with this or the way that you're handling this is you're becoming cold too or you already became cold. And it's either it's one of these two reasons. It's either because they don't know yet and it's hovering over you that you got to reveal this information or because the information has been revealed and you know that that image that you created for yourself is shattered. Now, I won't call you a narcissist if I didn't see it. I'm just keeping it a bean. And the reason you're a narcissist is because you, again, you created this image that I can't even say it's not necessarily you because you created it, but it's like now you got to play in it. It's like you made your bed laying it because you made the role so that you can act out the role. And now it's being acted out and you've had these narcissist tendencies and characteristics about yourself because you needed that in order to play this role. And I get that this person fucked with you anyway, or they stuck with you anyway, or this card is either here to show, to remind you of remember what you had, or yeah, this is why this card is here, to remember what you had. You had this, you had this, and maybe this is also here to show you that you can get back with this, or you can get back to this, but the way that you're handling this is the hermit in reverse you're isolating you're 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 drawing yourself away from them all because that image is shattered and you've done spoke to this person you done spoke to your significant other your lover in a way that suggests you're this you're that you're the you know you're the shit you're bigger than life there's nothing that's bigger than you but now you're stuck. You're even paranoid. You're paranoid about how other people see you, how other people look at you, how they will look at you. I don't know how, uh, how should I say it, how visible this thing is or how many people know. But I can tell that you're being antisocial because you don't want it to get out any further. You don't want a lot of people to know. This actually hurts you and you don't want to be hurt. You don't want to show that you've been hurt in any kind of way. Because you have this image to uphold. Um, sheesh. This also shows me... The Hermit followed by the Two of Cups also shows me that you may be in the process of separation, divorce, or it already happened. Reason being... Is because you withdrew from them. I don't even think. I think if you would have been more considerate to their feelings. Then you would have been able to reconcile the situation. I get that they're that type of person. I don't know what that would cost them. But nonetheless. I guess that's what partnerships are about. Right? If you in you win. And it kind of like the hermit upside down is showing me like it kind of, not kind of, but it reveals that that image that you created for yourself is not you. It's not your persona. It's not who you truly are. Because if it were, you'd be able to face the adversities, even if you got to, even if you got to go inward to search for the answers inside, you would have done that. But instead, you're, you're running away you're running away from your support system. Like you ran away from your support. And in the same vein, you can't be found. Nobody knows where you're at. Nobody, you can't, nobody's heard from you. So they know you're going through something because this is not like you. Maybe it is like you, but you've created this facade that shows that there's no way in the world that this could be like you. And you just can't stomach for people to see that you are like this.